Hey, yo. This is just a Cote Speaks coming to you. Shouts out to Major TV for allowing me to speak. I haven't been on the microphone for a long time. I've just been sitting in the gap, watching, listening to everybody speak. But now it's time for Cote to speak. Now that we got war going on, as the scripture says, it's going to be wars and rumors of wars. But yet, scripture also says that for the elect's sake, time will be shortened. So if time going to be shortened, what are we doing in this time? Where your mind frame at? I think about honor amongst thieves. All honor amongst thieves. Right? So, who are thieves in this hour? And what are they stealing? When we look at it in the broad picture, they're stealing our souls. Because we going against our own self-brethren. Yeah. If your brethren mess up, if, of course, you're supposed to call them out. You're supposed to do that man to man, woman to woman, without putting it all over YouTube land for the whole wide world to see. Honor amongst thieves. Honor. Where's your honor? I listen to a lot of people say, all honors. Yeah. But then when another brother say something or another sister say something that you're not really rocking with, now you going against that brother or that sister. Where's the honor in that when you can't pick up the phone and call that brother or call that sister? What's honor in that? It's no honor. In the cold team, pause for effect. Where's the honor in putting your brother and sister on blast? When are we going to Stop with the bull crap. When are we going to stop playing victim? When are we going to stop being the ones that's going to go along just to get along for the almighty dollar? When scripture says the love of money is the root of all evil. What I would like to see. What a Cote is saying I would like to see is that all those that have the almighty daughter in their possession, that they do not sell a soul by doing things that are not honorable, but doing things that are and is honorable in this hour. What are those things? You may ask. You may ask. What are those things, a Cote? I'm going to tell you what those things are. Number one, respect and protect your family. Number two, respect the young generation that's coming up after us. Number three, don't sell your soul because you're feeling low. And you need to get ahead of the game or get one up on your brother. Just for likes. Just for status. Sometimes you got to lay low in the trenches. And watch how things manifest. Plot and plan. That's how you do not come a victim. Of a soul that's lost in this hour. Stay focused on the prize. What's the prize? A united nation of melanated people of like mind. Everybody ain't going to make it because everybody's not going to feel this message. But for those that feel this message and understand where I'm at, it is time that we do a network together. See, we all go in the chat on different platforms. And we speak, yeah, let's stick together. Let, let's just stick together. 
but there's no networking that I see that is promising. We get online one day, then get online the next day, and we say all these different things. But what does it amount to? Still the same thing. Our brothers and sisters are still being shot in the street by the hands of the wicked oppressors. Our brothers and sisters are being still being shot in the street by the hands of our own so-called people. And if they're being shot in the street at the hands of our so-called people, that means that they're not really our people because they do not have like mind to preserve the life of a nation that is truly blessed. When are you going to understand your blessings? The fact that you still breathing is a blessing. Now, what are you going to do with that breath of life? If anybody can hear me and have an ear to hear and understand what I'm saying, if you are out there and you work in your nine to five or you got your own business and you're providing for your family, you are winning. A coach he speaks says that you are winning if you're doing those things. You are on code. That means you're on code. Because you're winning. Because you're providing for your family. Next step. Once your family is secure, you reach out and find out how you can help the next brother man, sister man, sister one man come up. Don't be a crab in the barrel. Bringing the next man down. Feeling in your heart, yeah, I got mine. They better get theirs. Knock it off. That's so very disheartening to me as a sister that uh, have empathy and sympathy for those that are in the struggle and not having truly arrived. I oftentimes wonder how and what can I do at the same time, maintain, at the same time, sorry, at the same time, maintain, maintain what I have that the Most High has blessed me with. And then still reach out to my brethren and my sisterin. If y'all don't have that mindset, we will never, ever, ever achieve unity. Unity comes with a mindset. A mindset that first says, I will achieve. And when I achieve, my brethren achieve. Be happy for your brother or your sister that's doing the damn thing. Don't be envious. Don't be jealous. Don't covet thy neighbor's goods, whatever it is that he or she may have. Don't covet it. Rejoice in the fact that that brother or sister have achieved the things that the oppressors have said we will not achieve. And they keep putting our, keep putting their foot on our necks in every aspect from government to industrial to science to technology every time we start to achieve here comes the oppressor to try to dismantle it divide it everyone out there in social media right now that is melanated should be on one accord speaking the same thing and not ever, ever, ever going on social media to disfame or defame, misrepresent a so-called call out someone that they think in their own flesh is wrong. Everybody is different. Everybody is different. And then when we get to understand that if everybody is different, then of course, we're not going to all think the same. However, if we all set forth one mission, then we can achieve, we can achieve a great a number of things. People talk about getting land. People talking about buying schools or owning schools, owning grocery stores. Owning community centers, having our own protection, police force, security. But yet, we're still divided 
even though we say these are the things that we need because everybody wants to be the man that did that. But understand you cannot do that without your brethren and sistering behind you. A lot of great people came before us and they attempted to do this. And at the same time, everybody wasn't on code because they wasn't speaking on being on code. We think of people we think about people like Malcolm X that said, defend yourself. And from that you got the Black Panther Party. And during that time, we had some of us with melanated skin that said, oh, them guns, why y'all got to have the guns? <laughs> we had to have the guns because the oppressors had guns and they were shooting us down way back then. Fast forward to today. Same people are saying, the same nation of people is saying, why y'all got to have these guns? Well, we got to have guns. To protect the nation. New Black Panther Party. Geronimo Brack, Pratt Club. Fred Hampton Gun Club. Black Justice for, Black Justice for Society. Line of Judah Armed Forces. NFAC. All of these organizations were saying the same thing. You have to protect yourself. Okay. So that's that segment. Fall in line if you represent that. If you want to carry a gun and exercise your Second Amendment right, handle your business and don't be afraid. And then there are some that say, I don't want to carry a gun, but yet I support those that are willing to protect us while we do what we want to do. We don't necessarily want to carry a gun, but there are some things that we want to do. We want to open up health centers. We want to grow gardens. We want to open up educational facilities. In order to do that, you need protection. That's called nation building. All these things come into mind when I see all the talent that is surrounding us as melanated people. And that's only a gift from the creator that we have all these individuals because everybody is different. We have all these individuals with all these talents. Yet, we as a nation of people still want to bark and complain when another individual is not doing what you would do. Knock it off. Knock it off. We cannot achieve unity and be that nation of a strong nation that we can be a nation inside of a nation achieving self-determination until we decide that we are not going to down another brother for the achievements that they are making or have made. Give them all honors. Honors among thieves. What are we stealing? We're stealing our heritage back. We're stealing our families back. And we're not asking them for it. That's why it's theft. Say la. We don't have to ask anyone for anything. We just gonna take it. Now look up the definition of thieving, stealing. You're taking something without somebody's permission. Why can't we stand up and take our honor back? This has been a culty shalom. This is Major TV and this is brought to you by Major. You. Yo, like and subscribe to get your notifications. Good. Do it without you need your full participation. Uh -huh. And we give it back to the show. Uh -huh. Tune in.